Hey everybody, it's Ted Carr here, founder of CourseCreatorAcademy.com and in this video, I want to walk you through how to pick a course idea. Now really, there's only three areas to pick from. If you pick from any other area besides these three, your course idea probably is not going to be a good one. It's probably not going to sell very well. You're probably going to struggle to be making $10,000 a month or more. And really, making 10 grand a month with a course is not that difficult when you look at the numbers. It's 10 sales a month with a thousand dollar course. And if you can't make a thousand dollar course, if you don't think you can make a thousand dollar course, you probably shouldn't be making a course at all. Make your course at least a thousand bucks and just sell 10 of those every month. And in this video, I wanna walk you through what type of course is worth a thousand bucks. Because a lot of people pick these course ideas that are just, there's no runway. There's no future potential of making 10K a month with the course idea because it's just, it, it's just not helpful for the consumer. And your course has to be extremely helpful for the customer. Otherwise, you're not going to spend a thousand bucks. So some crappy course ideas, or at least they're not, they're not crappy, but they're not going to be profitable course ideas. And these are courses about like um, how to save the animals or how to save the planet. Like if you have a thousand dollar course and it's all about like how to save the planet, it's not going to sell well. Unfortunately, it's just not going to sell well because it's not about the end consumer, it's about the planet. If you have a course about like how to save the animals, it's not going to sell well. Now granted, you can talk about saving the planet and saving the environment within your course, but you've got to bring people in your course with a different message other than how to save the animals, how to save the planet. So we're going to get into what those three types of courses are right here. Now the first, and I'll, I'll start with the, uh, I'll, I'll finish with the, with the most profitable of all three of these. But the first one is a course of all about health and or beauty. B-E-A-U-T. Health and beauty. Fitness falls into this category as well. Okay, So if you have a, a program about how to succeed with a raw food diet, or how to succeed with a vegan diet, or how to age very well, how to reduce wrinkles, how to have clear skin, you're going to probably do very, very well. Health and beauty courses always sell very well. The second type of course idea to go into has to do with um, relationships. These courses always do well as well. If you can teach somebody how to uh, save their marriage or how to find the love of their life, your course is going to do very, very well. Relationships sell well. Humans were social animals, we crave connection. Look at Tinder, look at Bumble, look at like dating apps, they're crushing it because people are so, look at Facebook, Instagram, people are addicted to each other. Love is the most powerful drug on the planet and harnessing the power of relationships uh, but by creating a course with that and selling that is a really profitable idea as well. Now the third type of course idea has to do with wealth or money. We'll just call it money. Where the end result is money. Now, the thing about these three course ideas is that they all have to do with making and saving. Let me explain. If you can tell somebody how to, uh, for example, get fit, Okay, you teach them how to get fit, you teach them how to, how, to, how to make fitness, how to make a strong muscular body. If you can do that, you'll do well. If you can teach people how to then um, keep that strength and, and, and age very well, like, like save their youth, save their beauty, you'll do very well. Okay, So it's about making the fitness in the first place, getting fit, and then staying fit. Those are two Different course ideas, you can put them both in the same course if you want, but both of them will sell very, very well. Both making fitness and keeping fitness, or making beauty and then keeping beauty. Same thing with relationships. You can teach people how to get into a relationship, how to find that date, how to get a date on Tinder, how to pick up chicks, how to get a girl's phone number, how to find the love of your life, how to, how to party, how to, how to interact with the opposite sex better, or the, the same sex, whatever you're into, and how to Keep that relationship, how to save a marriage, how to talk with your spouse, how to get over arguments, how to uh, even like get your ex back, whatever. Like there's all sorts of courses for that. Okay? It's about keeping and making. Same with money. You can teach people how to make money, like how to start an online business, and you can teach people how to save money, like how to save money on taxes. I saw a really cool course the, the other day. It was all about how to, uh, it's called like how to write off practically everything in your business. How to like turn everything into a business expense. And he's talking about how you can save like $10,000 or more per year on your taxes just by writing things off as an example. So these are 
There's no other course ideas that are going to be as profitable as these three. These are the proven three. In fact, I've bought and I've sold things in all of these areas here. Uh, for example, with health, I've sold a 30-day raw food challenge program. I've also sold a 30-day weight loss program. I've sold a 7-day cleanse program. They're all in course. Uh, so I've sold co a lot of health coaching. This sells very, very well. Beauty, I've bought fitness programs. I've paid for fitness coaching before, just to look good, just to, just to feel good. And, and I've bought lots of you know, potions, lotions, and creams for my skin. And um, I've bought beauty programs. I'm sure maybe you have as well. Health and beauty definitely sells. I've already paid for it myself. Relationships. Um, I've had Tinder in the past. I've had Bumble in the past. I've downloaded these apps. I've um, paid to go to festivals. I spent money going to these festivals all around the world so I could meet and interact with other people. Mm -mm. <coughs> Excuse me. If I had a marriage, if I had a um, you know a, a family, maybe I'd want to pay for a course to teach me how to have a really successful marriage or really successful family life. That would sell well as well. And I, I've even sold tickets to a festival myself. So I know relationships sell well. And money, obviously I have a course now, it's called Course Creator Academy, and it teaches people how to create a, a stream of income online with online courses and coaching. So I know how to sell the idea of making money, and I would be happy to spend money on a course that would teach me how to save that money. I'd be happy to spend that money into an area that's going to uh, maybe like life insurance or something, where I can get a lot of money back from that in the future, so it comes back to making money. It, like you got you got to understand that the only reason people invest in like gold and silver or whatever is to either save their money or to make more money. Same with Bitcoin and all this stuff. People put money in there so they can make more or save more money. So if you can teach people how to uh, get and keep all of these things, you'll do very very well. If you're teaching something other than these three categories, you're gonna have a very very difficult time with, with doing that. And the one other thing I want to add to this is in addition to these three categories. You want to make sure that each of your, well, first off, only pick one. Don't try and merge them. Pick one. Once you pick one, you want to then get clear on your QER. This is your quantifiable end result. Okay. And the biggest, it's the biggest issue I see with people of courses. They don't have a clear, they're not clear on the end result. They're not clear on this quantifiable end result that they want to help people achieve. So for example, in my program, Course Creator Academy, the quantifiable end result is helping you make $10,000 every month. In the first month, in the first 30 days, $7,000. Okay, it's a quantifiable end result. I got a time frame, I have a uh, end result that you can measure. So with each of your, with each of these, you want to be able to put a number. Quantifiable means number, number sign. You got to have a, you got to be able to attach a number to something. So for example, with uh, Health and Beauty, Let's say Health and Beauty, for my 30-day raw food challenge program, it was uh, some people eat no cooked food for 30 days. So 30 days, no cooked food. That's the, that was a quantifiable end result. Sure, there's all these other benefits like clear skin and more energy and better sleeps and better digestion and better looking body and all that stuff. I could have also said like 10-pound um, weight loss. That would be very quantifiable, 10 pounds in 30 days. For beauty. You can, you can say eliminate acne, you get rid of all your zits. That's quantifiable, there's no more zits. You start with five zits, you end with no zits. That's quantifiable, you can attach a number to it. Relationships, you can say, hey, I'll teach you how to pick up five girls in the next week on Tinder. Yeah, that's a number. You can also say, hey, with your spouse to improve your relationship, you can go from having like uh, five arguments every week to having no arguments every week. Again, yeah, it's quantifiable, you can put a number to it. If you're unable to put a number to these results, it's going to be very hard to sell. It's very hard for people to justify spending money on something, which is a number, you're spending a number of dollars on something, where there's not a number they're getting back in return. People want to trade numbers for numbers, okay? Money, super obvious. Uh, like I said, 10K a month, or you're going to help me save 10K a year, okay? Now, if your business if, you're, if, you're, if your course doesn't have a quantifiable end result, it's going to be almost impossible to sell. Almost impossible. You can be Tony Robbins and you can just be hip and hurrah and not really have a quantifiable end result and be kind of like Joe Dispenza and all these other like big gurus. If you have a really big name and you have a really strong presence, sure, you can just sell people on sheer emotion alone. But if you're like a, a mere mortal like myself and you don't have that kind of hurrah power, then um, it really helps to have a number that we can justify the transaction. 
And um, yeah, that, that's it. The thing about making money, this is by far the most profitable one, by the way. So if you have a way of making, of helping people make money, maybe you're helping chiropractors get more patients, or maybe you're helping personal trainers uh, get more clients, you're gonna do very, very well there. And so if you're currently making good money, maybe you're making five to $10,000 a month or more and doing whatever you're doing, if you're, if you're currently making five to 10K a month or something and you really enjoy it, you feel like you could teach other people how to do it, you will absolutely crush it with a money-making course. Um, and, and if you're not quite there, if you're not at five to 10K a month, you can start with these, you can start with these two, get to a point where you're making five to 10K a month with it, and then start teaching people how you make five to 10K a month with it. Okay, so I got started with health. I see other people getting started in beauty. I see other people starting in relationships. Once you start making five to 10K a month with that, you can turn around and teach people how you're making five to 10K a month with your health program, your beauty program, or your relationship program, okay? Uh, that's that. And then once you're, once you're here, it's, it's a lot easier to, to sell stuff because the um, quantifiable end result is so clear that ROI is more money. And when the ROI is more money, it makes the transaction so much more of a no-brainer. In fact, yesterday I just signed up for a $5,000 coaching program. It's $5,000 a month, every month. I'm paying that uh, at least for the next three months so that I can make more money. Happy to spend more money on things that's gonna make me more money. That's it. So that's it. If you're trying to make a course out of anything other than these three, think again. Come back to this. And if you haven't watched my other video on the RMS, I'll walk you through how to get clear on your messaging once you do pick a niche. So check out, check out my other video where I walk you through how to pick a niche, how to pick a deep desire, how to pick a roadblock, and how to pick a new method for your marketing messaging so that you can sell your course so much easier. I'll post a link for that in the description. If you found this helpful, awesome, make sure to watch the next video. And for a complete free training on how I got started making over $60,000 a month, you can check out the link in the description of this video and I'll walk you through how I, uh, how I did it. All right, peace, ciao.